If you have a slow PC, the video for today is going to be very interesting because I'm going to show you how to boost the processor or CPU speed in a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 laptop or a desktop so that you have a smoother experience. Nobody would like a slow working PC because we always want our PC to work faster because we may be playing games or we may be working on certain applications or we may be doing a work from home job. So if you have a slow working PC, it's going to actually affect the performance and you're going to get frustrated by the end of the day. So just follow these steps so that your PC is working faster and you're actually happy. So the first thing is get hold of your laptop. And once you do that, get to the desktop and do a search for power management or just type in power. So once you type that in, you get an option power and sleep settings. Click on that option and you get a pop up menu like this here. You need to select additional power settings. Now on this screen, you're going to see multiple options depending on your processor or your Windows version. So if you have a AMD processor, you may see this because I am on an AMD processor. If you have an Intel processor, you may just see different settings. But the main gist out here is to select change plan settings for your battery meter. So you may just see energy star if you're using an AMD processor or you may just see something else. Whatever you see, the first option, you select that and click on change plan settings. OK, once you do that, you get to the screen here. Click on change advanced power settings. Again, you may just see different options depending on your PC brand or your processor brand. Whatever you see, don't panic. <laughs> just click on this option here. Change advanced power settings. Once you do that, you get a pop up menu like this in a very small window here you need to select either balanced or energy star or maybe high performance or whatever it is okay so if you have a high performance mentioned select that but if you have energy star maintaining the power settings you can select energy star and then you get a drop down menu like this and then you search for processor power management you click on the plus sign you get it expanded you see three options out here now, the first option, minimum processor state. So here, the minimum recommendation for your processor to work properly at uh, lower power levels is at least 5%. I have come across blogs and videos on you online suggesting that you keep this at zero or one or two, whatever it is, I don't know. It's not recommended. Okay, if you do that, your processor is not going to perform properly in low power states. So you keep this at 5% on battery and when it is plugged in, also you keep it at 5%. How much ever options you see out here, just put all the options at 5%. Now, the second option is system cooling policy. On battery, it should be passive. When it is plugged in, it should be active. And uh, the third option, maximum processor state on battery 100%, plugged in 100%. Now, the next thing what you need to do is go to task manager open it okay you could do a search and get to this uh, window out here here you need to go to startup and you need to look for applications that are actually useless you don't want them to start when the pc starts so you may be noticing that when you start your pc it takes very long time to boot and get to the main desktop so if you have too many applications out here enabled that is actually going to cause your booting to be very slow so if you want you could just uh, keep the main applications uh, enabled out here like system security and stuff like that but if you see these type of useless applications like on my pc there's cryptex and what else uh, lenovo vantage it's not needed so we just go ahead and do a right click and disable it do a right click and disable it restart your pc take care my friend Thank <music> you.